guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a wee uh, cormorant pattern. Right, that's it there. So we fly there. I'm just going to show you how to put it together. I'm just hanging these up for a for a friend. Now the hook in the face legs barbless hooks and this is a Fario white fly hook. Uh, barbless, size 10. The thread we're going to start off using is the Uni 380 in white. And that's just to keep the 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 opal mirage that we're going to use for the body as bright as we can. Now I'm just going to come in and sort of start the thread where I want the thorax to begin, if you like. And then I'm going to work the thread down past the point of the hook and remove the the waist tag of thread. Now the tail on the fly, just a wee bit of flash, and this is just the the blue mirror flash. And I'm looking. Sort of weigh three strands and I'll just double it over. So just take the, the mirror flash off and just double it over. Trim that. That'll give you six strands then. Just offer this up to the hook. Come around with a pinch and loop. Just taking four turns down the hook catch in the tail. I just want to shorten that a wee bit again and then come in and trim the remainder of that the length of the body. I'm just going to moisten these wee ends because we'll get another fly out of those. Just leave them on my desk. The rib of the fly is going to be a strip peacock quill that has been dyed crimson. I'm just putting a wee bit of moisture on there. These are tend to be brittle at times. The body itself is going to be the Opal Mirage tinsel in large. I like the other off. Offer this up to the hook. Then we're just going to come around with loose turn just to get it positioned. And then just run your thread up. And all you're doing here is just trying to keep the body basically as level as you can. We're going to wind up our opal mirage. Nice tight turn at the back. And then just overlapping turns of the opal mirage up the body. Follow that around with your thread. A couple of tight turns to secure. Come in and trim away the excess. I'm just going to use a wee pair of hackle pliers to bring up the, the quill and we're just going to rib, just going to rib the body. I just like to take my time with these because they are brittle. Just wind them up and just look in a space to let the open mirage come through on each turn. I usually do this with my fingers, but if I've done it with my fingers you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. Right, up to here, follow that around with a thread. I'm right, just going to run the thread up to the eye with the remainder of the quill. Then I come in and break that away. Now I'm going to switch over to the uni 380 one black. Just work that back up over the top of the white thread. Then you can come in, trim away your waist black in your white tang thread. Now we've got to protect the body. And to do that I'm going to use some UV resin. Just a small amount though. You're not looking, not looking to build up the body. Just looking to protect it. And I'm going to come in with my needle. And just spread this right the whole way right around the body. Once I'm happy, which you are, I'm going to come in and just light this up. And just make sure it's well cured before you continue to tie the remainder of the fly. Just have a wee check. Yep, 
thread on, just bring the thread back down, bit of mill, and I'm going to catch in some, hopefully I can get three turns out of this, this is just pseudo haggle, an orange single wave, right, just going to trim a wee bit off, just taking a wee bit off just to be able to tie it in, just come around with a turn, just work this back up towards the, the body, and then back down, yeah, just going to come in and take this excess bit away, don't want to be creating too much bulk at the head, and then we're just going to take three turns of the pseudo haggle. Stop at the head here. Then we're going to follow that around with our thread. A couple of tight turns to secure. Come in and trim away the excess. Now, a good pair of sharp scissors are, folks, if you've got them, will do the world of good. Just going to tidy this head area up. And we'll get it ready for the marabou wing. Now, we're looking grand. So, the wing, all you're doing is looking the the tip, what they call the the bloods of the marabou. Now, all I do is just bring the rest of the marabou back, so I use that for lures, and then come in and see the amount that you'd like. Now, I'm happy with that, so we'll just break off the tip, and I just want the the wing to be sort of way at the same excuse me, length is the tail. Now this is going to sit up a bit because of the pseudo haggle, but don't worry about that. Once it's wet, it's had a wee swim, it'll be grand. So just a couple of tight turns to catch in your marabou. And you can come in, just going to lift up the excess and trim away the, the remainder of the marabou. And then we'll just build up our head. So just bring your thread to the eye. And you're just looking at a nice wee teddy head. On the fly. And don't be shy with it. Don't be shy with the head. That's part of the fly too. Nice and tight. And then we'll come in and when I whip finish. Now I'll moisten the wing just to let you see what way it sits. Just give me a wee bit of moisture in my fingers. Just slick that back. Now just to, on the head, just to seal it up first coat. We drop off super glue. Right the whole way right round the head. Once that dries guys, I'll come in and put on a minimum of two coats of varnish. So there you go, it's just a wee cormorant pattern. Now it's nothing special. Your, your imagination can run way with these here wee patterns. And they're good wee patterns to have in your box, not just for small still waters, but also for the for the big locks, the big Irish locks. So look, tie a few of those up, hopefully then catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it, thank you. Uh, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out and it helps it grow. And until next time folks, please stay safe and tight lanes.